everybody welcome to my channel hope you guys are all doing well today in this video i'm going to show you guys how to use a platform called godex but before i go into the tutorial i just wanted to go ahead and invite you guys to join my discord channel now the channel that you're looking at here is for patrons but all these other channels are here for my community members we tend to have daily discussions on crypto trading altcoins people are buying we even have a whole channel dedicated to DeFi talk if you guys are interested in pursuing opportunities in the DeFi space it's a great way for you guys to connect with like-minded individuals and if you guys have any questions or concerns you could definitely get them addressed here as well any of this is intriguing to you i encourage you guys to click the link in the description below it's only going to be active for the first 25 clicks so i would move fast with that being said let's go ahead and dive into this video All right, let's get started and show you guys how to use Godex. I've done a tutorial on other platforms like Godex. For instance, I did a recent video tutorial on SimpleSwap. Now the benefits of using a platform like this is that you don't have to make an account, you don't have to do any KYC, and as a result, you're basically preserving your anonymity. It's a very convenient way for you guys to buy tokens that you're looking for. Oftentimes people will spend hours looking for tokens and creating an account with various exchanges, but I'll be honest with you, the exchanges won't charge you as nearly as much as Godex and some of these other platforms will. So just know that if you choose a platform like this over a traditional exchange, you're going to be paying a premium for that service. In the previous video tutorial I did with SimpleSwap, I paid about 4.1% in fees. But all my subscribers, all my patrons, all my Discord members who've used the service like this, they absolutely love the convenience of the service. And the only complaint that I've received from them is that the transaction can take a long time to execute. Sometimes it could take about an hour for the transaction to execute. However, customer service does seem to be somewhat more responsive on Gotex versus other platforms. This of course is just anecdotal, but something to take into consideration when you guys are choosing between the various platforms. With that being said, if you guys wanted to try out the platform, I'm going to show you guys exactly how it works. So in this left box here, we're going to go ahead and pick the crypto that we're trading in. And so in my case, it's going to be Litecoin. I'm going to give up some Litecoin, about 10 of them, to get a token called RSR. And before executing the trade, what I would recommend doing, after typing in the amount of coins that you're trading in, get the prices from CoinMarketCap, get the prices from CoinPaprika, do the math and figure out exactly how much tokens you'd be entitled to if there weren't any fees. And based on the numbers that I'm looking at right now, I should be getting around 64,400 RSR token. But you can see here that with the fees, I'm not getting as much. And because of the fees, I'm getting about 3,600 less RSR, which means I'm approximately paying $23 in fees. So in other words, I'm paying a $23 fee to preserve my anonymity and to easily and conveniently trade my crypto assets. Trading Litecoin for RSR tokens probably wouldn't be possible on an exchange because that pair isn't available. So most likely I would have to probably do two transactions on an exchange to get RSR tokens. With this platform, it's just one transaction. So once you've decided that you're okay with the transaction, you're okay with the fees, click on exchange. And in this box, you want to type in the address where you want to receive your RSR tokens. Since RSR is an ERC20 token, I'm going to go ahead and paste it right here. Once you've pasted the address that you would like to receive your tokens in, go to exchange. And here it's going to generate an address. So this is where I'm going to be sending the 10 Litecoin to. And here you can sort of see a summary of the transaction. I'm going to go ahead and deposit 10 Litecoin to receive about 61,000 RSR tokens at this address. Now you do have a time limit, so make sure you keep track of that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and send over 10 Litecoin to this address. And what I would do while you're waiting for the transaction to go through is I would copy this onto a separate document just so you have it on file in case anything happens. That way you can go ahead and contact support and you'll have this transaction ID ready for them. Meanwhile, to the right here, you can see the status of your transaction. Even though my Litecoin wallet shows that I've sent it, 
Once the deposit has been received, you'll see a checkbox next to waiting for deposit. And since this is a blockchain transaction, you have to wait for a certain number of blocks to confirm. After the confirmation, they'll begin exchanging your crypto assets. Once you see this check mark on completed, check to see if you received your desired tokens in your wallet. And you can see here on the screen that I've received my RSR tokens. Even though in most cases, the transaction can take anywhere between five to 60 minutes. In my case here, it actually took six hours. So make sure you take that into consideration before you guys end up using a platform like Godex. Now, if that doesn't work for you and you guys have a hardware wallet like a ledger, another option for you guys is this DEX aggregator. It's basically a decentralized way for you guys to go ahead and trade your crypto assets. And whether it's GoDEX or it's this DEX aggregator, I've provided all the relevant links in the description below for you guys. The biggest downside of using most DEXs and most decentralized applications is the fee. Depending on how congested the network is, your fees can be pretty substantial. What I would recommend doing before you guys go ahead and execute a transaction, I would go ahead and figure out what's the smallest amount of gas that you can use to safely execute your transaction. And on top of that, you can also see that they give you an estimated time for how long it's gonna take your transaction to happen. And depending on how much you're willing to pay, it could be as fast as less than two minutes, or it could be slow as 30 minutes. But they also have preset options that you can choose from, or you can put an estimated amount based on what the gas token website is telling you. So there's really four fields that you need to enter before executing the transaction. First is the asset that you wanna give up. And second is the asset that you wanna get in return. Third, you wanna go ahead and put the amount of slippage you're willing to tolerate. And lastly, how fast you want the transaction to be executed. You have a few options when it comes to wallets. Personally, I like to use the ledger, but any one of these wallets will do. If you don't have any one of these wallets, MetaMask is the easiest one to obtain. You just need to create an account and you can get set up relatively fast. Once you've selected your wallet of choice, you actually have to do two transactions. The first transaction is to unlock your wallet, which allows you to interact with the smart contract. And once you've unlocked it, you'll have to go ahead and click on swap now. And that's what actually executes the actual transaction. Once you've completed those steps, you'll be on your way to receiving your newly purchased assets. Well, that pretty much wraps things up. Don't forget to check out my Discord channel. If you like the content, give me a like, comment down below subscribe to this channel. This is Crypto One Stop signing up. Look forward to talking to you guys next time. Bye.